When you're building your website, you need to remember that there's more to creating your page template than just layout. We also need to handle the format of the basic elements that will make up our site template. Don't remember what these are? Well, there's the header, the navigation bar, oh, and the footer. Let's start at the very top by inserting our header image. To do this, click inside the top left-hand cell. Then go to the toolbar and select Image. In the screen that pops up, click on Choose File to find the image you want to insert. Select the image, then press OK. You'll see a preview of the image that you want to insert in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Now in the field for alternate text, type in a short description for your header image, something as simple as header. This is a text that will appear in the space if a site visitor is browsing the web with images disabled. Now hit OK and your image will appear on this page. Now let's finish our header by adding our header text. Click inside the top right hand table to enter in our site title. Then, in order to change the font, color, and size, we'll use the Format menu. Go to Format, then scroll down to Font. The choices look a little different than in a typical word processor, huh? That's because InView knows that you're going to want to stick to good fonts for the web. For right now, select Helvetica, comma, Arial. Are you selecting two fonts at once? Not exactly. What you're doing is telling the HTML that if the web browser your site visitor is using doesn't have the Helvetica font available, the browser can use Arial as a backup option. To increase font size, font color, or select a style such as bold, keep using the format menu, which contains all these options. As always, the key is to find something that looks good to you, so play around a little before you settle on one style. Now go ahead and start creating your navigation bar. To make a bulleted list in InView, click it to the cell where you want the list to go. Then go back to the format menu and scroll down to list. In the next menu that pops up, select Bulleted. Your first bullet point will appear in the cell. Of course, what's the use of a navigation bar without links that you can use to navigate through the site? Not much use at all. So how do we insert links? Simply go to the Insert menu and select Link. The Link screen will then appear. Here you can create all your links with a minimum amount of effort. You can use the checkboxes at the bottom to define whether or not the link is a relative or absolute link. You can also tell InView here if the link is an email address. Input your data and InView will do all the hard work. For our navigation bar, first enter the text to display the link in the top field. Since we're building the first link of our navigation bar, we should make this a link to our home page. So type in home here. Now for our link location, type index.html. Now select OK. Your link exists, and it'll take you mere moments to fill in the rest of the links you need. Be sure to go down to the footer and fill in your footer text. We'll input our email address by going back to Insert Link. In the screen, we'll type in our email address as the link text, then type it in as the link location. Click the checkbox naming this as an email address, and then click OK. Now when people click on that link, they'll be able to email you using their default email program automatically. You've now created the basic template for your portfolio site using a table made from scratch, and now it's ready for your content. Congrats! Not everyone can say that. Only the truly skilled web designer, truly skilled at using InView. With these elements in hand, we'll also be able to start inserting our main content by using the skills that we've just acquired. You know, the fun stuff.